Hello ladies, today I wanted to talk about Elijah the prophet and the woman of Zarephath, a beautiful, beautiful story of God's power and glory, um, but also sacrifice and submission and just trusting in God. The way I sort of look at situations or difficulties is that they can um, require different things of us as children of God. They can um, end in, in, in different ways, um, but they all promise a victory. God always promises a victory. God always promises an answer to our prayer. In the Bible, when you look at the children of Israel and the battles that they had to fight, sometimes they didn't have to fight at all. Sometimes they just came to God and cried to him and, and he just worked a miracle in the situation such that they didn't even have to take up arms they didn't have to um, put themselves in array or or even fight the battle but yet other times they put the situation to the Lord in prayer but then they had to take up arms they had to prepare themselves for battle God at that point stepped in and sometimes even caused the enemy to turn upon themselves so that the Israelites didn't even have to fight but then sometimes the Israelites did have to fight. Sometimes they put the situation to the Lord in prayer. Then they still had to take up arms and prepare themselves for the battle. Still nothing. Okay, we have to go and fight. And the Lord would give them victory. If, if their hearts were right, if they were in right standing with God at the time, uh, and they did what God required of them, uh, putting the Ark of the Covenant first, so putting God first in the situation and truly trusting God and His hand upon the situation, uh, then God gave them the victory. And there are going to be times like that in our lives where we put the situation to God in prayer and God mirac miraculously works on the situation and it's resolved. And then other times we actually have to do something that requires a lot of logistics or, 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 or a lot more prayer or, or just some effort on our part, even a lot of effort on our part. And then we might have to even be assertive in the situation and, and fight, fight for the victory that is due us, fight the victory that we have a right to in God's name. But then there are situations like the woman of Zarephath. She had enough to make one more meal for herself and her son. And here Elijah the prophet was, he was hungry, he was thirsty, and he was asking of her to provide for him, to, to help him, to care for him as the prophet of God. And here she was, she was being faced with a situation, a, a, a fork in the road, if you like, a, a decision that she had to make that required a sacrifice on her part. She chose the right thing. She was willing to sacrifice and if you like, show the character of God in her life toward Elijah, that she was then given the victory. She was then provided for. She was then delivered from her plight. It's a beautiful, beautiful story. So please read it and I'll put the scripture reference below. But this situation happened in our life in a sense and it has happened many times in our lives and it will in yours that um, it's not a situation relevant to the Israelites where they had to prepare themselves for battle and go in and fight or at least stand themselves in array and, and see God deliver them. You will be faced with many situations where you will be like the woman of Zarephath. You will be faced with a decision of do I ignore what I could do in this situation to uphold God's name and the character of Christ and go and strive on my own own strength and if we do that if we listen to those negative feelings and emotions and ignore the the opportunity to shine for God that God is putting before us then it, it may not go well with us for us you know it might kind of work out for us in the end but maybe the exceeding abundant blessing won't come our way maybe we'll frustrate the situation to the point where God will do another thing in our lives where again we're yet faced with a decision will we shine for Christ here will we humble ourselves will we put aside our ill feelings and our pride and our stubbornness and and whatever it is that we, we might be attempted to feel or think in the at the time so yes like, Yet again, he might go, look, I'm not going to deliver you yet. I'm not going to give you the victory yet. I want you to bring me into the situation here. I want you to shine for me in the situation here. I want you to uphold my word. And when you do, when you do, then the answer will come. Then the victory, the deliverance will come. It depends on you. 
what decision you make, how you decide to behave, how you decide to react in the situation, what you decide to bring into the situation or not. If you're waking up and you're praying, God, please perceive me this day. Please have your hand upon this day. Whatever happens may it be according to your will. Then you have to trust that what happens that day is according to God's will, that he has his hand upon it. And if you're going through a difficulty and you've, you're in a kind of a woman of Zarephath situation, the situation could be so that you can be molded and shaped more like the character of Christ, so that you can work a work in someone else's life, so that you can glorify God in some way. And God promises, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So if you have a clear conscience towards God that you know you are doing your best to walk in the ways of Christ, the people of the way, the way of Jesus Christ that we have been called to be, and that uh, you in particular are not the cause of the issue, but rather that God is working through the situation for your benefit, to his glory, for someone else's benefit, or for your and someone else's benefit, then you have to trust that it's of God. So just stop and think. Is it a children of Israel situation where it requires some form of battle, preparing for battle, or even eventually going into the battle? Or is it a woman of Zarephath situation where I have to sacrifice something? I have to be obedient here. I have to give up something that means a lot to me in order to shine the character of Christ, bring the word of God into the situation, the light of God into the situation. And then when I do that, then the answer will come. The victory will come. Just think about it. Take some time. Pray unto the Lord. Ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what kind of situation is this one? And give me wisdom. Open my eyes. Open my heart. Show me so that I can take the right steps. So I can say what God wants me to say. Do what God wants me to do. So that it can turn out to be an exceeding abundant blessing in this situation.